Alexa, please turn off the main lights. Okay. Alexa, please turn on the aesthetics. Okay. Before we start, let's talk about the previous vlogs I uploaded. On my previous videos, we talk about how to use a Wi-Fi relay module as well as its sample applications. Now that you know how to use a Wi-Fi relay module and you know how to use it or how to apply it on your home, I highly recommend to watch this video first to make sure that you will not be disappointed on the results. For me, this is a must-watch video before buying a Wi-Fi relay module. The content of this video was very simple. It is just a answer to a simple question. Will the Wi-Fi relay module work even without internet? Today in this video, we will find out. I don't want to take much of your time, so let's get started. Let's roll the intro. Let's start this video by plugging in the Wi-Fi relay module device I built. Actually, the structure of this device, since this is a do-it-yourself project only, it's kinda odd. I use a picture frame as a case. One thing that you will notice, every time you will plug in this device, all the relay, all four relay will turn on, and then you have to manually turn off it using a switch or by voice commanding. So now, the Wi-Fi relay module was turned on. We have to establish a connection from our device to the Wi-Fi relay module. Since I am using one device only, I am not connecting it to a router. I have to open my hotspot on my cell phone. Once our hotspot is turned on and the Wi-Fi relay module was plugged in, this is the time the Wi-Fi relay module will automatically connect to our device. After that, once the connection was properly established, that is the time we can control the switches or the relays of our Wi-Fi relay module here on our device through switching or voice command. We can use either Alexa, Siri, the Tuya app, or the Google Home. Okay, let's try some commands. Alexa, please turn on all switch. Okay. Alexa, now turn off all switch. Okay. Alexa, please turn on the table lamp. Okay. Alexa, please turn off all the switches. Okay. Now, Alexa, please turn on the aesthetics. Okay. As you can see, I do not get any problems when controlling those connected appliances using voice command through Alexa app. Now, we will turn off the cellular data to simulate no internet, but to make it clear, we still have a good Wi-Fi connection with the hotspot on my device and Wi-Fi relay module. The only thing that changed was the cellular data. Earlier, it was turned on, so it has internet. Now, we will turn it off. Okay, let's turn the data off. The cellular data was now turned off. Please listen on what will it say. Alexa. Your mobile device has lost connection to the internet. Please try again a bit later. Okay, let's try again. Alexa, please turn off the Your light. Your mobile device has lost connection to the internet. Please try again a bit later. Alexa, please turn Your off. Your mobile device has lost connection to the internet. Please try again a bit later. Now let's try Google Assistant. Hey Google, Your please turn. Your mobile data is turned off, so I can't help you with that at the moment. Hey Google, please turn on the lamp. mobile data is turned off, so I can't help you with that at the moment. Hey Google, your phone's mobile data is turned off, so I can't help you with that at the moment. So to summarize the idea, even we have a good Wi-Fi connection between the Wi-Fi relay module and our device or cell phone or if you are using a router, then it is a router. Wi-Fi relay module is still working even we do not have a internet. As a proof, you can check the aesthetics behind me. Um, aesthetics was still turned on. Other switches was still turned off like the main light, the table lamp, and the spotlight. There's no changes made from the time that I turned off my cellular data. On the other hand, if we do not have internet, actually AIs don't even give me a chance to speak or let me say what my commands are. They just throw their no connection spill right away. If those AIs can work without internet, 
that will be a huge help. I hope you like this video and if you like this video, can you do me a little favor? Please click the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you will be updated every time I post a new vlog like repairs or how to's or anything related to electronics. So I think that's all. Thank you for today and have a great day. Peace!